Hi, welcome to product test and tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use the XHW1411 multifunctional temperature and timer relay control to control AC load or maybe heater. We're going to see how we can use all the features of this. Also, we're going to see how much current this one draws under different conditions at, at what voltage this can operate. Let's get started with this. This device has uh, many features. This device can operate between uh, from 8 to 12 volts. This module has uh, four important features. The first one is uh, related to upper and lower level of temperature to control an AC bulb or AC load or fan, whatever you want. And the three other features are just a timing control of uh, different timing, nothing to do with temperature. So to demonstrate all of those, I have to go one by one by example. The module is sold on eBay for $4.69. I will also provide the link for you here. The module is based on this new Voton NA76003. This is the microcontroller. And here are some specs of it. Here is a data sheet for it. I will provide you the link with the data sheet so you can have a look at it. When you receive the package, they usually they will ship it something like that. So it has some standoff that keeps the distance of this from the screen. And then this is just a sticker on top of it so you can see the labels. Let me explain the input and output of this hardware. We have red LED here. This will be turned on when the relay is connected. There is a green LED. When the relay is off, it will be turned on. And then we have two digits, three and two digits here. Depending on the functions, these will either display temperature or uh, hour or minute, uh, both of these, and then this will either display the function or a current temperature. And then we have up and down, there are two arrows here, which they put as start, and then this is set, and then stop. This is irrelevant, but anyway, this is a stop on one function, it, it is a stop on the other function, it's different. So this is up and this is down, they put a very bad color, so I have to put it at some angle, so you can see it. And on this side, this is the actual sensor uh, that is connected from this terminal. Temperature sensor, the length of this one is one meter. We have a buzzer here. Every time you press a button, it buzzes. So you know the uh, command is uh, been entered. And then there are two terminals here. This is a relay. The two pin terminal, they are normally open and you will connect your load here. The relay can handle up to 20 ampere and 125 volts. Make sure you divide the power by this voltage and whatever you get will be the current and it should not exceed 20 ampere because the contacts of this one even at 14 volts it will be 20 ampere at 125 volts it's 20 ampere or if you receive this module with different relay make sure to look at the rating so the current is very important consider that otherwise it will melt down and this is the DC terminal that you uh, connect your power supply here plus and then ground and it, it's 12 volts but I've tested it, it up to 8 volts the relay can work and energize and this is a microcontroller here uh, I'm gonna put the link for the data sheet in case if you want to know so let me explain the AC bulb here so this is a table light fitted to the wall outlet and the wire goes and will be turned on. But I have disconnected one of these two wires here. I've just cut this wire from here. Now this can be connected to the uh, relay. The relay job is to just connect it so it will be on and disconnected will be off. I've just twisted them and then put some solder so this can be inserted into a connector with a screw. I've connected this AC bulb here instead of fan. And the two wires that are that I showed you is connected into the relay port here. And I've connected the power supply of 12 volts. This is the negative on that side and positive is on this side connected to the 12 volts power supply. Let me now explain the temperature control of this uh, module. Uh, this cannot be used for cooling system or refrigerator or a fan. This can be used only to keep a certain temperature. It's for heating. 
Some people are mistaken that this can be used in reverse. This can set, for example, a temperature between 50 to 60 degrees. You want to keep the temperature of a liquid, environment, chemical, whatever application you have. So uh, when the temperature goes below 50, the heating system or heater, whatever you have, will be turned on and it will go up. And at 60, it will not go above 60, it will turn off. You can set these two very close to each other. For example, you can set it uh, 59 to 60 or 55 to 60, or you can set it apart, let's say 20 degrees to 80 degrees, whatever you wish. So you can put these upper and lower limit. And that is by default when this display shows here. This is now the environment temperature. I have light and stuff, so it's heating up slowly. When I touch the sensor also, it will significantly increase as you can see it's very sensitive so uh, now this is 50 degrees and uh, when if it's not in temperature just press set now it's f1 f2 when go when you go back it comes back when you see instead of f when you see a number that is S celsius uh, degrees uh, of temperature so this is the lower limit and let's set this to 50 with this you can go up and with this you can go down that's 50 and uh, now let's set this 60 now the lower is 50 the upper is 60 now because we want to keep the liquid or the temperature at 50 now the relay is on if there was a load it will be on and now uh, suppose the heater is on and it's waiting until the temperature goes 60. Now I'm gonna use a heat gun here to increase the temperature and you will hear the click of relay. So at 60 the green is on, now the relay is disconnected. But at 60 it was just stopped. Mm. So now pay attention, when it reaches back to 50, the relay or heater will turn on. So, 50, again this on. So make sure to understand this. I've connected the bulb. As you can see, this is green now, the light is off. When this is red, the light will be on. So the, ray the relay will be connected when the red is on. Now I'm in F3 mode, I'm going back to, when you press this, it, this shows the temperature. Now this is the lower temperature, which is 40, and this is the upper temperature, 56 degrees. This is the temperature at the moment, so after a few seconds it stops, so that is a set value, and this is 56. Let, let's say I set this at 60. Now I'm blowing up heat with this heat gun and make sure to see when this reaches 60 it will turn off so it turned off even up to 70 but the light was off it reaches 40 because it wants to keep it between 40 and 60 anything below 40 well is not acceptable so the heater should turn on now this will go now when it reaches 40 this light will go on now this if this is a heater the heater will turn on When I go to F1, this is minute, the time that is on, and this is the minute, the time that this go the device goes off. Now I'm using the F1 feature, the timing. When you press set, it goes to F1, F2, F3. Let's go back to F1, I'm in now in F1, and I can set the on time from here. Or you can just hold it, 22 minutes, and here you can set 
12 minutes so 22 minutes on 12 minutes off because I cannot do that we cannot wait that long let me just put it at 2 and this one let's just put it at 1 and now this is start at 2 minutes now we are close to 2 minutes and we'll see this will turn off and this will take 1 minute to go back to on so 1 minute and it went to the other mode Now let's go to F2. F2 is, this is the hour and this is the minute. So the same way you can just change one hour, two hour, three hour up to 99. I'm gonna make it uh, zero hours and then same thing you can set the minute up to 99. I'm gonna make it one minute. So now it's the light is on. After one minute, the light will go off. So whatever device that you connect, it will be kept on initially and after the set time it will go off so that is F2 F3 is the opposite now it, this will this is off for, for this much minute this is hour and this is minute the same way you can set the hour and then you can set the minute So now let's set it to one minute, one minute off, and then it will keep on forever. On after this time, after one minute, when one, one minute reaches, so it's on. If you want to turn this off, just press and hold this, and it will turn off and the relay will be disconnected. So to turn it on, just press this. It will go to the last value. And if for some reason you want to just reset it back to factory default, first turn the power off. I'm turning it off. Then this stop up and down arrow, hold them and turn it on. It makes beep all 888 and it's now back to factory default. So F1 is this value, F2 is this value, F3 is this value, and uh, that's uh, the reset. Uh, but if you want to do just a self-check to see all the digits are running and working, again, turn this off. Hold these two buttons, this time these two, and turn it on. So it, it just did a self-check and it will not reset anything. It will just go back to whatever value you are. Now let's see how much current this one draws when the load is on and also how much current it draws when the load is off. I'm connecting. As you can see, it draws 67.8 or 66.8 milliampere when the load is on and at the moment the voltage the input voltage is 12 volts and uh, let's turn the off when it's off it draws 21.1 milliampere the moment it's 8 volts so now let's see at 8 volts how much current it can draw at 8 volts when the load is on it's 53.2 milliampere and when the load is off 21 milliampere, 21.1 milliampere. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this uh, XHW1411 module to control different devices using timing or heat. Uh, please thumb up the video if you learned something from this video and also appreciate if you subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos.